Hi Zach, Joe. Um, this is the very first Playmaker tutorial video. Um, Joe, you can skip this. We've already covered all of this, uh, unless you want to review. So Joe, um, sorry Zach, uh, if you get Playmaker, here's what it'll look like. And I'll just give you an, a re recap of what Joe and I covered tonight. Um, we've got Playmaker installed. Easiest way, you go to the Asset Store, and then you uh, Window, Asset Store, and then you download, click Follow, the basic steps it's really easy um, after that you've got to make sure the playmaker editor and also the editor window the action browser are both open so I got the editor window here locked is good um, got the action browser here I like to put it next to inspector and this guy shows you all of what unity can do it's really amazing and it's a really quick interactive guide to learning to unity so I think this in itself is worth um, getting a playmaker for us. You don't have to crawl through and copy paste code. It's all right there. You just double click stuff, even if you want to make a GUI. So for this project, we're making the guys clothes turn on and off, different outfits. Also want to make a little menu screen pop up so you can toggle the outfits. Um, that's what Joe and I are working on and we welcome your help. So that said, um, I'm going to create a new FSM. FSM stands for Finite State Machine. So just ignore all of this, pretend it's blank, but you'll see that it's blank. Um, when you want to start using Playmaker, you got to click Add Component FSM, and then you'll get this blank thing here. Um, you can click Edit, and then we have a fresh one here. You'll want to name it, so let's say uh, Character Customizer or something. And then you know we'll put the logic in here, like when you hit the Tab key, a little menu will pop up. Up and down will make you highlight different parts of the player's clothing. Left and right will make you toggle between different outfits. Um, so Joe has the sketch up we did. It's quite crude, but it'll be more clear than what I just said. Um, so that said, uh, once you go in here, you can add action. Like you can say, hey, if I press the tab key, you know, make a menu pop up. Or you can say, when the player presses up, keep arrow up or uh, controller, left thumbstick, up or down. Uh, select this different menu item here and there. Um, so you can check out the next videos to see what we've been covering. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, Zach. Um, I highly recommend Playmaker for prototyping. You can use it to just create a game out of scratch really quickly and show it off and prove that an idea works. Um, it's more for us dummies who aren't good at programming, but I know experienced programmers use it too. Um, so have fun and uh, hope you can keep watching.